we ain't doing a masterpiece I just don't want it sitting rusting so let me do a little bit of painting You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. I took a few days off, so I lost my buffer in between, but we're gonna make up for it some. We got a lot of projects left to do. Tanker, planter, 7520, and then we gotta get into the other trucks. But got my last parts from Shoop, hopefully, and then uh, stopped at Home Depot and I got my parts for the rest of the tanker trailer, other than hoses. I know there was a lot of comments about I was using schedule 41 inch and the cast connections. Honestly, all the other trucks that I have or have run and stuff like that, they all use that. Keep in mind, somebody said it best. We're not doing pressure. We're just doing flow. So there's no like heavy resistance on this, um, especially with not pumping sand manure. So yeah, we got this. Me and Mr. Flags actually started messing around with the lights to see what went where. Probably pop this cover off and then I'll know which one's, um, which one is my marker lights and things like that. But I wanna get that done so I can get this off. So next week, cause today is Friday, next week we can focus all on this so this is done. But let's open up that box from shoot, make sure we got everything, then we'll dive into it. Appreciate you guys watching along. You appreciate them watching along too? You been a good boy lately? Yeah. So we've been pretty uh, strapped as far as work. We're installing that, we're installing everything for that high school. So yeah, I wish we were further along, but we're not on that project yet because yeah, at some point we gotta go farming. So I got the last of the chains. So we should be all good there. We do gotta pop these boxes off, which aren't latched in, put the chains on. And then we gotta start working on our dry bearings on this planter. So, not too much. I got the seals in to do everything we gotta do there. We're gonna get there. It's just taking me a little bit of time because yes, I have day job and we jump around and do all sorts of stuff. But set you guys there and pop these off. I do have uh, someone planned to write on the boxes. People keep saying, when are you gonna put the names on the boxes? Um, somebody said ear tag marker, which is probably the best idea for cow ear tag markers, but I got somebody with much better handwriting than me who planned to do it. Alrighty, don't lose the snap collar, the lock, like we did with the other one. But I got four of these. Still gotta put together the closers and the gauge wheels. Which aren't too bad. Yeah, they might be pretty bad. They might not be that much fun to do. It's actually been beautiful weather, so I feel like we should be planting. But we've gone over all that. Okay, that one's done. Lock it. Wipe some of the grease off. Good to plant, kinda. Row units, good on the chains, good on everything up top. So from here down, we do gotta change this bearing, but I got a new one. I, we don't have to change it, but it's more the fact that, uh, more the fact that uh, I got that one to spin. So I'd rather put a new one on. That way everything's new across these shafts. Makes me feel a lot better. But, yeah. 
So we're gonna pull this out, open it up, start doing everything else. Um, my priority today is finish up what little stuff I got left on the Mac. Shouldn't be too crazy. I guess I should pull it over here and yeah, get it out of the way. So we'll get it started up and uh, start tinkering along on the last stuff on the trailer until we got to get the hoses. And then, yeah, still got to do. I got a lot of things to do. <laughs> I do. But. Fuel gauge. Mint. So what I got is some short pieces to come out that might be longer than I thought and then some 45 so it goes up because that line we want to go up going out it might might not be ideal so I got some 45s instead of some straights I think the only supports I need here are gonna be brackets up in the front I don't think anything on the front side will actually be much benefit, just a tiny bit, but that will hold it pretty snug. So, got two of them, put U bolts on them. Yeah, they might be a pain to drill, but we'll get it. That works. There's no movement at all in any of that. So, now we are much better off. Yeah, all this got to get primed and well painted after that but some with these steps somebody said i should build, build railings and stuff like that relax we're not we're not getting that crazy um got a little bit of stuff to do up top but otherwise what this trailer needs is hydraulic lines which it's friday so we're not going to get any till next week beginning of the week we'll get some and we need to figure out some wiring on them so oh what i also I also did and we got some work back here I got some ideas so we got the spread plate which we all know I had the second loop here I did find it on the ground as I was getting done and I got some recommendations for that so and I'm waiting on the wire the wire is supposed to be coming I haven't got a confirmation that's shipped which worries me in this world and we got to weld a cap plate somewhere here so if you guys remember, trailer was 24 volt military and it has its black black out functions. So like we got wires on wires on wires. I did start working on it. So this wires, your marker lights, that's your ground. I guess if we hook that up right now. I got to give myself some slack. Okay. So that is in. Keep in mind, this wire, it's not grounded right now. This goes back to, why did we, uh... I have a feeling we're going to have to clean this up quite a bit. Why did we, um, change the grounds? Yeah, because it would not work if this ground was hot and the truck ground was not. So, negative. Right now it's got voltage, but yeah, it just doesn't have a good contact. So, let's see if we clean one up. Yeah, going to have to do a lot of cleaning up. Got a lot of corrosion on it. But it works, it's plugged in, it just needs a ground to it. And the light turns on. So we gotta go down and do all of them. What I found neat, I went to the back to grab the grinder. And I did put one cover on, or one light in. 
that is definitely on so that light works that one i don't know if that's on or not i think it is but it's definitely on but that's still 24 volt i'm thinking of taking these covers right off and putting regular work lights like i got on other stuff on other trip on all the other trucks because if something happens and i need to get one of these uh, then i need to do it anyways but yeah still got to get a few more lights i want i grabbed a bunch bunch of different varieties just to make sure we were good these 97s are so, so much brighter yeah so 97s i think are what we want which is easy enough because we can get those anyway i got different bulbs to make sure we we're okay um so let's see i'll pop this one off we'll just switch the bulb out and see if it works oh, yeah this thing's got a little bit of corrosion on stuff let's see if i pop this one out what is this one 623 so those are the original ones that were in it nothing i think that's a blinker when it comes down to it i think maybe let's put some power to some things and see here's our issue grounded not grounded now it works okay so that's our issue so we got to clean these up they just got corroded and caused that issue it's a little victories but come back here same thing had to grind the corner now we got light but this is a 24 volt bulb so as you see it's not it's not bright then we come over here which is a marker light that one's bright but like i was saying i think i'm gonna take this box off and i think this back cover comes off and i'll put regular lights like i got on the other trucks um i don't know what the bottom lights are for that might be a question too and then we got to do blinkers and brake lights well yeah but same thing see this one's working just needs a dimmer or the right bulb in it is this one working yeah this one's working just needs the right bulb in it so it's bright enough and this one's working so those don't need to be ground down we just got to grab some bulbs for it i wish i I, yeah we just gotta get a few so i wonder what these lights are for i guess we'll have to figure it out somebody did give me the wiring diagram send me it so yeah that one's actually working it's just dim um Alrighty, two hands. I'll pop this off and we'll see. The amount of wires that go into this is friggin' nuts. Like, look at all of them. <laughs> okay. So we got a ground wire. Is the light still on? No, the light's off. So it does ground through itself. So we got our blackout wire, we got a blinker wire, and we got... The marker light wire okay so which one goes down to there then i should have a tag number on it look at all of these wires this is wild okay this one goes to the bottom which this one goes to this one so 489 goes down to the bottom which we're on 489 so that's a marker light it's another one so we probably don't have ground to those bottom two. It's probably not grounding on the case, but this will be easy enough that we uh, take those bolts out and we put the right ones in. I don't think I have one in the shop for some reason. I thought I might. I don't remember though. I just don't. I want the good ones, the LED ones, because that they're nice. So I definitely would have lost this battle if I tried wiring this up when i picked this trailer up so i got pretty lucky but got all three lights on this side running 
Then we step back here. I got the four ways on. Okay, it's a little dim. It's a little dim, but that one has a new bulb in it. That works. So maybe I will. I don't know. I got to see where I get to. I don't like that all the housings are cracked off and rusted off. So got all the other marker lights working all the way around, which is good. We just got to put the right bulbs in it. But that works. So left blinker works, right blinker works. Marker lights work. Um, tail lights, so that's the last thing. So we got a few more. Do we got some more spots? We got one more spot. So this went back to it that I said these lights, when I took them out, they only have one outlet in it. So they got blinkers, but they don't have tail lights running through it. Um, so when I put the other one in, as you see, there's only one piece. So I wonder if military stuff's odd about it or something. But we got blinkers. We just got to get tail lights on here. I know the truck has tail lights. So we're definitely going to just switch these out. It's so much more convenient. We'll just get the regular square ones, use the same cover. Because, yeah, we're going to mess around with weird stuff if that ever has an issue but got everything other than my tail lights wired up got the mounting that came with it we just got to get some self tappers to go right through it so yeah but all the lights work we just got to get the right light bulbs and get the right fixtures for the back to make it nice and easy so that is definitely so we got to get some 97s Having a power probe is it's top notch. Might as well just shove these in here. Yeah, a few self tappers. Put that right in there and we'll be good to go with the plug. At some point I'd love to add strobes and stuff like that as people have said, why don't you do that? Because you're running on the road, stuff like that. It's just a matter of time, okay? That's just it. Um, also, backup lights. My other one has light bars on it. This one, I don't have any light bars right now. If you haven't noticed, I'm running out of time to do stuff. So we're just going to leave it alone. Um, it will help, when, but I'm hoping we don't work that much at night. But I think we will because we're going to run out of time. Alrighty, what's next? So we got it mounted. We got the lights wired, lights work, which is cool. I think once I get done messing around with this, I'll uh, I'll go get some lights when I grab dinner tonight. So, and then that'll be easy enough to swap them out. Do a little shake, shake, shake. And we got some rust oleum. Primer quite a bit of it. Ooh I know this isn't ideal, but we're going to dip right out of it. We ain't doing a masterpiece. I just don't want it sitting rusting. So let me do a little bit of painting. I was just going to paint a little bit and, uh, well, that's empty and I didn't even paint. That's all got primer. Let's go around the other side. We're running out of daytime too. I'm actually going to Supercross tomorrow, Gillette. So Br Brittany convinced me to get tickets the other day. So Andy and me are sitting with Brittany and a bunch of her Pennsylvania friends. And then my brother, it, we're going, our buddy has a bus and we're all going to go on that. So I won't get much done tomorrow. <laughs> that has to be said, but painted that. So we're all, it's no longer looking rusty and yeah. I painted some of the tank, but honestly, <laughs> you'll see in a second. <laughs> I painted the back of the tank, so it doesn't say flammable any longer. It cleans it up quite a bit. Um, painted all that, painted as much as I could without touching myself, so I got to go back over. But I did get it on my arm. I got it, in, yeah. So painted the uprisers, went and started painting the pipes, and I was like, this is horrible. I gotta spray that on like getting in between so bad so I went up top and I painted the bracket the fill 
um, the return felt, and then I painted the box. And that doesn't look that great. It's got some streak marks, but it's going to be covered in manure. So it's better than it. At some point, we'll probably end up painting the whole thing. I don't know if I'll paint it black or not. Black kind of goes good with it. It looks like a Mad Max truck then. Black tanker. But, but yeah, definitely gaining on it. I'm going to start packing my stuff up because, well, as you see, we're losing daytime and... I'd really like to get all the lights working, but I don't think I'm going to get enough light. So I might order a bunch of those lights because we need three on the other side, four, five, um, and then three up top. I forgot. I didn't even see if they were working, but now I, I'm not going to climb up and all over it. But yeah, right? Three, four, five, and then eight. So... And if, yeah, we're going to switch these out. Somebody's going to say you should use them, this and that, but we already broke so many of them trying to get them out that it doesn't be more of a headache. So, Alrighty. I appreciate you guys watching along, liking, and subscribing. Short video today. Got a little bit of the corn planter done. Tinkered on the tanker. Granted, I really didn't get home till 4.30 today and... We've been messing around for three hours and painting stuff takes forever. I probably should have sprayed it on. Um, but I just want something to make it look halfway decent. Um, I had, I wanted to get rid of the flammable there. I should paint over the flammable there so that people don't call the police on me. And Sam spread inflammable stuff. What have you been doing? You having a good day too? Oh, yeah. But that's, it's coming along. So we got to do do some little stuff um, and run hydraulic lines on the trailer and well four hydraulic lines and that should be good. So having lights is a big plus. That makes us so we can run on the road and then we got to work on the truck. So we got some truck work to do, but nothing too crazy. Alrighty, I'm rambling along. Appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.